Hey guys, it's Anna, and I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how to get embed code for your Google Calendar. This is a great way to share your assignments from a Google Classroom into eClass, or you may just have a regular calendar that you want to share. So I'm going to start out here in my Google Calendar, and over on the um, left hand side I can see a list of my calendars and the one for my Google Classroom is this one Kali Parkview PD. So when I put my mouse over each one of those names of calendars I see the three dots here that gives me the options menu and I'm going to choose settings and sharing for this calendar and then um, you can just scroll down through it. You also can use um, over here on the left these are little shortcuts to the different sections of the settings. So I'm just going to scroll down. The first thing you want to do is make it available to the public. Um, that allows um, anyone who's looking at that embedded calendar to be able to see it. And then as I scroll down, I'm going to come to Integrate Calendar. And you're looking for the embed code which is right here if i click it it automatically i just clicked it once it selects the whole thing and then you're just going to copy that um if you are using this embed code say on an e-class page and you load it up and you don't like the way it looks you can also use this customize button and it's going to let you set some different settings um, for how that looks when you embed it in the page for instance if it's too wide in your e-class page and it's being cut off on the edge you can change the width over here um, you can change you know background colors different things and then up here will be the embed code with the um, adjusted settings that you've done and down here it's showing you what it's going to look like so if I made this width 600 it's going to squeeze it like that um, you can also choose uh, the default view is the month view, but you could also choose to do the agenda view if you wanted it to be as a list or the week view, whatever you want um, to show. And then people who are using it will have an option um, to change the tab if they don't like the view you picked, but that, that would be a way to kind of show it in the view that you want it to be in. So that's how you copy the embed code. I'm going to do a separate video to tell you what to do with that embed code in eClass. Thanks, guys.